All right, we're here with Pleasant Valley uh, Junior, Carl Rico. Carl, how are you doing today? Um, all things considered, I'm I just still processing through it. I'm feeling okay. I mean, I got to run already, so I got to experience, you know, a Drake Relays, but I, I still feel a little bad for my friends that, you know, I had a couple teammates that this is their first and only event, and so I was really disappointed that I didn't get to let them run. Um, I was just a lot of anxiety going through the entire, just like we started three times. It was really cool having the entire stadium be like, bring them back, bring them back. And then uh, like an official, like a couple of officials were like leading me in and then I got my baton and then he walked me in and I pulled up to the line and I was just like, I'm ready. All the adrenaline going through, I was ready to run fast. And then I think the official official for my race specifically, it was a guy in red and he was just like, You're, you can't you can't come back so disappointed but I mean it was really nice to see um, Iowa City go after that record you know that the thing about running in is like distance running especially is we're all friends like I've known all these guys for a while and it's really nice a lot of the support like the stadium and then after the race it was really nice having them all come up to me and give me like you know like sympathy I guess so you went from feeling like the lowest of lows to the highest of highs. That moment specifically when they're bringing you back and you get a baton handed to you yeah. and you walk out there and you're dapping up the guys on the line. <laughs> Have you felt that before? Like that I, adrenaline? You know, so how we qualified is we had basically had a last chance. We It looked like after Jim Duncan, we got, got knocked out. And so, you know, I had a little bit of adrenaline, but I have never... We ran a like a solo meet, and I had a, a lot of adrenaline because that was our like last chance to make Drake, and we ran blue standard. But um, here, I've never felt anything like that. Like have everyone like cheer me on. It was like everyone was booing, and I thought they were booing at me at first, and then I um, I realized they're like start them better. And I you know there was a lot of like there was false guns or whatever. I didn't know what exactly was going on, but I you know it was so. I was I was getting on that line. I was like, I'm about to go run the crazy PR. I thought, but it didn't happen. Well, how did your teammates react to everything that went down? Um, they were actually. I was fully expecting them to be mad at me, but you know, I have such a great team, huge supporters. Um, you know, I think deep down we're all disappointed because, like, our the time we were coming in, I think would have gotten fifth or fourth. I, I didn't look at the results too closely, but we were, I think we were all ready to run a really fast time. We had two fresh guys, and we had Luke Nepp coming off an amazing run, 9-10 school record, and we were ready. Like, he closed in a 61 on that 3200, so we were, we were expecting something absolutely, like, bonkers from him. And so I think it's a little disappointing, but Luke does get to run the 1600, and I know he's going to go go really hard on that now because he'll basically be full recovery i mean he only ran uh thursday all right so where does this put you at looking towards a couple of weeks at, at the state meet what what motivation are you feeling right now so the next couple of races is our mac conference mac conference districts and then obviously state and uh, right now if you look at open opens i'm the i'm the fastest person in the open eight going into the mac um, I've, you know, all, I think I'm going for the win in Mac, and especially now I gotta get. I feel like I gotta get that win. Uh, I know there's a couple guys like Maddox and Gage Rath from Bettendorf and um, Davenport Central who will give me a good run for my money. But I'm coming in with an experience of Drake, and while I wasn't able to run the um, four by eight, I'm still a really, and I think I can go for the win. And then districts. We have um, Iowa City coming to our district at North Scott, so you know they they threw down a lot of fast times. I mean, Eamon Noreldeheim with the 151 that was crazy to watch. Um, you know, all the, the four of those guys I love them. You know, our teams our teams are friends. Like Ford uh, Ford Washburn and ja uh, Jacob Mumi are really good friends, and I think that kind of just went down the team. Like I love those guys, Eamon and Truman, and so. I think I have a little bit of an advantage. I got to race at Four World Relays, Eamon and Truman, and I kind of stuck my nose in there and I was with them for a while. I'm really excited. I, I don't see any reason why I couldn't make state, and especially like I have, I'm coming back with a vengeance now. For sure. Are we going to see the Pleasant Valley 4x8 at state? You will. Um, you know, obviously, districts is like a 32 4x8 back to back is really a little bit of an issue, but you know. I think 
between me, Andrew Miller, Cameron Gatto, and whoever we throw in, we could still make it. And ideally, we'd like to be in the fast seat. That's the one thing about state is a little uniffy, it's two heats. But, you know, I think we're ready for a fast time, and I think they're all... I'm not just feeling the only one feeling this way. They're all coming back for it with a vengeance. Yeah. Now, Jonathan and I were talking about how that might have been the loudest we've ever heard the stadium. There's been yeah. world records set here. There have been professional performances. There's been so many great moments in honor 13 years of the relays. It's the loudest we've heard it. Now, I know the moment didn't go the way you wanted it to, but this is an iconic moment. People are going to talk about this for a while. Yeah. So, uh, just <laughs> it was you kind of have a, the, maybe the, I don't want to say the wrong side of history, but you, you just know you're going to be in the books and this is going to be talked about a long time. Yeah, I had so many people like, I remember Jack, uh, the Dowling guys were like, I'm sorry, I, I talked to Jackson a little bit and that was cool. Just, it was incredible having the entire, entire stadium just cheering me on. I was just like, you know, I, I was, I was for a moment, like, I was surprised I was even being let back on because like, it reminded me a lot of what happened with uh, Devin Allen in the World Championships, like the .99 reaction time. What did, what did that official that gave you uh, the baton back? What did he say to you? Uh, I don't, I don't know. I was kind of just in the moment. He yeah, was like, I'm sure. I, I, he was kind of like, I guess I've given it to him. One of the ladies, there's a lady that was like leading me on, like you're back in, you're back in. Uh, I almost, I, I was scared. I was about to get. Um, there's a long jumper going in. I was about to mess him up. I thought, I don't know what happened with that. But then I got back to the line. And I was just. All the adrenaline is pumping. Awesome. Thank you so right. much for your time.